Hi there, this is another walkthrough video of the IOLITES light sensitive MIDI controller. In this video, I want to show you some extra features which you can find in the IOLITES web app called IO app. And you can reach it on our website at instrumentsofthings.com slash io minus app. In the web app, you can make configurations for your MIDI and light signals, and you can also save everything to IO lights and upgrade IO lights to the latest firmware. So now I want to show you some features of the app. Let's start with the light settings. Here you can configure the range of light that IO lights uses to make music. You can either use the automatic brightness adaptation, which automatically recognizes the best light range based on your surroundings. Or you can set up your range manually. So now it's much deeper because this slider controls um, how much light you need for the whole value range. So if you move it to the left, you need less light. With this slider, you can set up the sensitivity and the latency of the controller. So now it's very fast and less sensitive. Let's move this to the right. Now it's really sensitive, but also um, very slow. Make it fast again. Here on the left, you can find some settings for your MIDI note signals. You can, for example, uh, set up your note range, your note length, and you can use a quantizer. So now it's on C chromatic. Let's make this E major. Yay! Right underneath that you can find your control change settings. You can, for example, change your controller index. You can visualize your CC signals as light on IO lights, and you can use and set up a slew limiter. To the right there are the settings for the random mode. This mode lets the LEDs flash randomly on your IO lights. You can use button B to go there. Now they are flashing randomly. Let's set up the light range to make it hearable. Maybe like this. Yeah, you can change um, how fast the LEDs are flashing with the level of randomness. So now very slow. Let's make it fast. Maximum speed. Like this. And you can change the number of LEDs that are flashing on IO lights. Change it to two. Now two LEDs are running on the IO lights. Make it to five. Now there are five LEDs flashing. Yeah. Go back to random. Let's turn this off for a second. Okay, so here you can find your settings for the buttons. You can also use button A and button B as uh, touch controllers and you can um, tell the eye lights which node you want to play and which index you need. And here you can find some more special features like the clock synchronization, which is really cool. So now there's no clock sync. Let's turn this on. There's a clock. Let's change the range for the higher notes. Yeah, here you can hear the clock, uh, which is generated by Ebit Live. Ebit Live is already running. Here you can see the clock. And now let's turn on the kick. Always synced. Let's change the clock divider to 16. Let's make it really fast one time. Okay, make it back to 16. That sounds good. And let's play some more. Tracks.
Let's use some light functions, like MIDI lights. Now the lights are flashing, the notes are flashing as light on IO lights. Let's go to random mode. And as you can see, also the random mode is synced to Ableton Live. Set up the range. Yeah, you can also influence the light, for example, with your hand. More higher. The light reflects from your hand to the sensor and makes the light brighter. make this slow. Now you can see very clearly that the random mode is synced. One more track. Let's turn the divider back to 16. I like 60. Yeah, so this is how you make music with IO Lights. You can find the manual of IO Lights on our website. And if you have any further questions, feel free to write a comment or send us a mail. I hope this video helps you to use your IO lights and the IO app. See you, bye bye.